Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to change the transmission fluid on a Lincoln MKZ hybrid. This is my 2015 Lincoln MKZ hybrid and it's my second time changing the transmission fluid on this vehicle. It currently has 272,000 kilometers on it and the last time I did it was around 150,000 kilometers three years ago. I just had a nose surgery done, so my voice is a little off, so just bear with me here. I tend to do my fluid changes earlier than recommended, but if you're unsure, always look at your owner's manual and talk to a reputable mechanic. This video will be a drain and fill process, not a flush. There is no transmission filter to change here. The filter is built into the transmission, so you really can't replace it unless you take the transmission apart. A special thanks to Huracan Automotive here in New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada for allowing me to film this process of this uh, transmission fluid change. These guys are the only guys I trust with my Lincoln MKZ. And if you're in the area, make sure to check them out. For this project you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet, a 5 millimeter hex bit and socket, a torque wrench, a fill plug extension and pump, a drain pan, and finally 4.5 quarts of Mercon LV transmission fluid or anything equivalent. You may also need a car jack to jack up the vehicle and give you more working room. My mechanic here is using his fancy lift. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button and show your support to my channel. I'm very thankful for everyone for your continuous support in helping me grow this channel. Start off by removing this black undercover using your 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Remove and place the screws in a safe place so you don't lose them afterwards. This is the drain plug for the transmission right there. It's uh, the 5mm hex type plug, so carefully, gently unscrew that. In my case here, the hex bit wouldn't go inside the uh, plug because there was some debris in it. So that's why you see my mechanic here lightly hammering in the bit. You might have to do this, you may not, but once it's in, slowly loosen the plug until you can loosen it by hand. Have your drain pan ready because 4.5 quarts of transmission fluid is going to come out. The fluid doesn't look terrible. It could be worse, but like I said, I like to get my fluid changes done earlier than recommended. So yeah, there we have it. Okay, so now while all the fluid is draining, you can remove the fill plug using your 14 millimeter socket and ratchet. I'll show you where the fill plug is located.
The fill plug is the one on the left you see here. It's a 14 millimeter bolt and the location is the wheel well under the or in front of the driver side area. Right now my mechanic is taking off the fill plug using his 14 millimeter socket and ratchet. Here's another quick look at the fill plug. The bolt is removed and you can see the hole now. Before we start filling the transmission with fluid, we need to make sure we tighten the drain plug to 6 pound-feet of torque. It's very easy to strip this drain plug, so be very careful tightening it and loosening this bolt. Now it's time to fill the fluid. My mechanic is using an extension to connect to the fill plug. Although this is not necessary, it makes things a bit easier, especially with the type of pump my mechanic is using. Your fluid pump may be different. All Lincoln MKZ hybrids ranging from 2013 to 2020, they take 4.5 quarts of transmission fluid. The last time I changed the transmission fluid on this vehicle, I used Mercon LV transmission fluid, but this time it's a fluid called Boss Lubricants. I think it's a Canadian only fluid, but yeah, it's equivalent to the Mercon LV, so that's what I'm going to go with this time. Let's start pumping. First, you need to pump about 4 quarts of transmission fluid, then run the engine for about 2 minutes. Shut down the engine and let your vehicle sit for about 5 minutes. This is done because you want to circulate the fluid in the transmission, and then do the final top-up. So we're just going to lower the vehicle and run it for about two minutes. With the hybrid engine, you need to put your foot down on the accelerator pedal, otherwise the engine won't run. You want the engine to run, so just continuously keep your foot on the uh, accelerator pedal for about two minutes. Or put something heavy on the accelerator pedal if you don't want to wait. After 2 minutes of running the engine, shut it down and let it sit for 5 minutes. Now let's pump the rest of the fluids inside the transmission. Continue pumping until fluid starts to seep out of the fill hole. Let the excess fluid drain out, remove the fill extension if you're using one, and hand tighten the fill plug using the 14mm socket. My mechanic sprayed some brake cleaner to clean the excess oil everywhere, and you can do the same thing. You don't want to leave a mess everywhere. Now secure the undercover and that's pretty much it. You can definitely do this project at your home by yourself if you have the proper tools and equipment.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button and show your support to the channel. Also, make sure to check out the real Lincoln MKZ Facebook enthusiast group to connect with other Lincoln MKZ owners. See you all next time.